LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging, and it's a remote sensing tool that uses ultraviolet, visible, or near-infrared light to measure distance and create a 3D image of objects. Easy enough, right? But did you know that LiDAR can help map streets for driverless cars, help archaeologists map structures under dense jungles, or even model a single molecule? Basically, LiDAR measures how long it takes for emitted light to return back to a sensor, which can tell you the three-dimensional structure of an object, even through a tree canopy or while moving. It advanced from sonar and radar technologies of the past, but instead of using sound or radio waves to scan the environment, LiDAR uses pulses of light. So LiDAR systems can literally map their surroundings at the speed of light. The lasers can operate at 160,000 pulses per second, and in just a few seconds, millions of points are created in what is called point cloud data. This data can be converted into three-dimensional digital models of terrain, cities, or any other object you are collecting with the sensor. There are two main types of LiDAR, topographic and bathymetric. Topographic LiDAR maps the land typically using near-infrared light. Topographic LiDAR can be used to derive surface models for use in applications such as forestry, hydrology, geomorphology, urban planning, landscape ecology, coastal engineering, survey assessments, and volumetric calculations. Bathymetric LiDAR uses water-penetrating green light to measure water depth and seafloor elevations. Most bathymetric LiDAR systems collect elevation and water depth simultaneously, which provides an airborne LiDAR survey of the land-water interface. This LiDAR is important near coastlines and harbors and near shores and banks. LiDAR is just another tool that enables NGA to create more accurate maps and models and continues to help us better understand the world.